All right, today I'm going to do two things. Number one, keep in mind, I'm going to record my audio with the Zoom H1. So I have that tucked behind the camera here on a separate light stand, and it's just kind of pointing in my general direction. Um, and then number two, I'm gonna be talking about the Big Eye, which is the Pro LCD Loop from Lightcraft Workshop. Some people will call them LCW. Now Lightcraft Workshop uh, does a lot of stuff with glass and their optics and filters are like top notch. So in this loop, you know, you're not gonna expect anything less. Uh, some of the cheaper loops that, you know, I pick up overseas or whatever, uh, I don't know if they're really a good quality glass or they might be plastic, um, but you know, they are cheaper. Well, LCW is doing something really different here with their loop. This is their first loop that they're they're making and they're not really mimicking a lot of the design and manufacturing like the other loops. So here is the big eye. Let me do a shameless plug here. There you go. Keep that there. So here it is. Um, unlike the other loops, that use a lot of plastic on the body here. They went with an entirely silicone based loop. Uh, there's almost no plastic on here. This entire ring is threaded uh, and it has a knurled knob here. And what this does is if you loosen this up, I don't know if you could hear that, it's all metal and it it loosens up so you can unthread this magnification piece here to kind of raise it up or down and that's their diopter there to adjust for people with not near perfect eyesight. It's got two little tabs here I guess those are used for the um, little strap. Uh, here's the way you mount it now you can see all these pieces are in different packages. Uh, everything's modular, I guess. You can buy all of these pieces separately from Lightcraft Workshop if something happens to get lost or I don't know how it could get damaged. But you can buy a lot of these pieces separately, which is why they have it all packaged separately. So here's a frame. As you can see, it's kind of, kind of beefy here, a little wide. It's not a magnetic frame type. Um, so just like the other frame mounts, this one will come on and off with a little bit of a uh, pull. And this one holds on just mounting with uh, friction, I guess. The silicone wraps fairly tightly around the frame and that will keep it in place on your camera. Let me tighten this down here. Uh, so it's got a lot of surface area on this frame. I don't know how it Looks over an LCD right now. Um, I haven't mounted one and my other cameras have the you know the other frame on it right now, so um, I'll see if I can test this out and see how much area this covers and what the view is and I'll probably get uh, some of that on later Another cool thing that is here part of the full kit is an optional eye cup. So there is an eye cup on here, and this is real similar to the other uh, viewfinders out there. Like I think Hoodman has something like this, and there's also the Jag 35 Digifinder. Um, some people, I think, with glasses, say that this is more comfortable than using the eye cup. So you actually have both here. It's on fairly tight, so I don't know if I can get this off. There you go. Replace this with this. There it is. So let me take this off for a second, just talk about their their diopter. By the way, this is really good quality glass here. Um, really clear. I put a spot on there because I was testing if it was really glass, and it definitely is. So this metal with the knurled knob and threaded, I don't know, diopter here. Uh, that's a really good design, much better than the DigiFinder, which 
kind of slides up and down and some people are saying that you'll have to tape that down to keep it from shifting this one you just kind of loosen it up and then you can uh, move the diopter up and down so this is a little bit more expensive but if you need a viewfinder with a diopter uh, this one is under $140 probably the cheapest uh, viewfinder with a diopter under $140 with this kind of build quality and uh, you know glass quality so definitely a nice addition to Lightcraft Workshop's other products um, not anything cheap that they're putting out this design here we'll see how well it works out um, but you know I don't see why it wouldn't work I like it under $140 can't complain there's a lot of good quality on here and uh, for those who are looking for a viewfinder with a diopter I highly recommend it that's it